Well, shocking new developments in the case of a Covington, Tennessee teacher charged with rape of a child. WREG has learned Alyssa McCommon, already in the Tipton County Jail, has been indicted by the grand jury on 23 additional counts, and investigators have now identified 21 potential victims. WREG's Mike Suriani has details on the latest developments. It shocks me, it, and then again, I've been doing this long enough that these investigations are just sad. There, there's nobody that wins in these investigations. Covington Police Chief Donna Turner telling WREG 38-year-old Alyssa McCommon now faces additional allegations of rape and sexual misconduct as detectives work to identify 21 potential victims of the former Covington teacher. It's been a little over seven months since we initially uh, started the investigation, um, and it has not stopped since then, and it's going to continue uh, from this point forward. McCommon, who's been in the Tipton County Jail, was formally served the charges listed in a 23-count indictment, stemming from an investigation involving five of the victims, ranging in age from 12 to 17 years of age. Charges that go beyond the initial use of solicitation through electronic means. So these charges encompass that as well as physical contact uh, with these victims. And obviously, um, it, they're from the charges, you would have to have physical contact for some of these charges. McCommon was first arrested in September, charged with rape of a child and posted bond. She was rearrested after she violated the conditions of her bond by contacting a victim. As we've reported, McCommon says she is pregnant with the baby of a former student. News of additional charges sparked outrage from one Covington woman who didn't want to be identified. It was bad enough when it was only one. But now there's so many more. She just, how did that happen? In Covington, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3.